Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Yes, the Black Widows are back. Yes, we got a lot of them. And the answer to your next question, why in the heck are you doing this? Well, I'll explain all of that. And, and let, me, let me just tell you. If you remember the story, a little more than a year ago, I had been ordering a bunch of used toy collections online. And I ordered a big one, I mean a huge one, from Southern California. And maybe within a week, a week and a half of receiving that big used toy collection from California... I found a Black Widow walking across my kitchen floor. What the heck? Black Widows don't even live in my area. False Widows, yes. Black Widows, no. I wasn't even sure, so I caught it, and it had the red hourglass, and I looked it up, and yes, this is definitely a Black Widow. Up until this point, I had never even seen a Black Widow in real life. They have them on the eastern part of the state, on the side of the mountain range, but you don't have them over here. They, they don't like the, the, I don't know, the moisture or the mild winters or whatever it is. Black Widows don't live here. And I started finding them in my house. And then I found another and another and another. And they were everywhere. And yes, we called a couple different exterminators who tried a couple different methods. And it didn't work. But before we called the exterminators, you know, we tried bug bombs and home remedies and bug sprays and all kind of things. But it did not work. Then we called the exterminators who gladly took my money but didn't solve my problem. They said they'd give it a shot. Well, their shot didn't work. And then I found a couple more Black Widows. If you want to know what it means to find a couple more Black Widows, I think the total Black Widow count, not spider count, the total Black Widow count found in the house over the last year, including what we found recently, is well over 130 Black Widows. Yes, 130! That's right. That's a lot. Yeah. I mean, one Black Widow's a lot. One Black Widow's too much. People keep leaving comments saying, Turn the poor spider loose! Turn it outside! You can't take a Black Widow and put it outside where it doesn't belong. Number one... It could hurt the local ecosystem and be an invasive species, or number two, it'll just helplessly die outside, which, I mean, number two, I'm good with that. But you can't risk that number one, so you can't risk turning black widows loose on an unsuspecting neighborhood and wild animals and pets and children and everything. Let me just tell you this. It is amazing what people can send you in the mail. I get an email, hey, I know how to take care of your Black Widow problem, I will send you something and this will kill your Black Widows. I said, okay, great, what is it? Ah, you'll see when it gets there. I said, well, all right. So the package comes a couple days later, it was a hot day, luckily it didn't die on my porch, I open it up and it's a scorpion! Somebody sent me a scorpion! That's right, a scorpion. And I don't mean like the rock band, you know, scorpions, ah! No, not the scorpions, they sent me a scorpion. I mean, it was safe, it was well sealed, it was within a container, in a container, and it was labeled before you open this, hey, it's a scorpion. Ugh, scorpion? Man. Now, having a scorpion to kill black widows in your house, I mean, you can't turn the scorpion loose, if that's what they were thinking. That's as bad as people are saying, you know, wasps, wasps eat uh, black widows, turn wasps loose in your house. So, what we're looking at today is a black widow versus a scorpion. Now, at first glance, you're going to say, oh, that Black Widow is as good as dead. You know, a scorpion, it's got armor plating. How is the Black Widow going to bite through that? I'm not sure. As you can see here, we made a couple of changes to this container. No, I'm not going to call it the Battle Dome. The Battle Dome! We made a couple of changes to it. First and foremost, we instead of using it a clear bottom, we took some of this carpeting that you put in the bottom of a lizard tank, and I cut it down there, and I glued it. And I used Gorilla Glue, because it's supposed to have the grip of a gorilla. But as you can see from the edges here, it's kind of popping up, so that gorilla was not gripping very well. This is kind of like a prize fight. They do a little tag and run away. Do a little tag and run away. And since it's circular, as they zoom around, they come up on the other side. Man, this is, this is just crazy. They tangle a little bit, they run away. They tangle and they run. Uh, it's hard to tell if this Black Widow can even get a bite in, but we can definitely see this Black Widow is not using the same fighting style as the other Black Widow did, and I don't know what the difference is. Now, you can see the spider put out a little bit of web, but this isn't like before. And, well, this is a different Black Widow. This isn't the Black Widow from that other video. So maybe each Black Widow has its own fighting style. I don't know. Are you starting to get the point here? There's a whole lot I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about Black Widows. I've been learning, and I certainly don't know anything about scorpions. And that scorpion, you watch how it strikes. That thing is quick. You do not want this thing wandering around your house. I'll tell you that right now. 
Ooh, look at that. You know, I don't want to call a winner on this because you, you just can't tell. It looks like the, the Black Widow is, is moving around a lot. It's kind of like Muhammad Ali dancing around and stinging like a butterfly and flying like a bee. It's the other way around, right? Any, anyways, and then the, the, the scorpion, he's taking some strikes and it's, it's, they make an attack, but they don't follow through. And this, man, this scorpion is creepy. Ooh, it looks like the score. Ooh, he's got he's got the spider in his claw. But then they do a lot of stopping. They get right up to each other and they stop. Are they thinking about it? Are they not sure what they're gonna do next? Are they sizing each other up? I don't know. I don't even know what kind of scorpion this is. I need to look it up. I haven't had a chance yet because, like I said, it came in the mail and I gotta get this thing filmed because then I gotta figure out what to do with it if I can't get a spider to kill it. And really, it's not that I want a spider to kill it, but I'm taking one dangerous, deadly creature and putting it up against some other dangerous, deadly creature, hoping the least dangerous and least deadly of them wins? Yeah, I, I'm, yeah I'm not sure here. I do not know how long it takes the scorpion's venom to do its thing. You know, we kind of have seen in the past how the Black Widow does its thing, but we're, hey. And for all I know, maybe the Black Widow got a bite, on, bite in there, so we're... But we have found a way to get rid of the Black Widows in our house. We will set scorpions loose all through the house. Yeah, that is not going to happen. Ooh, so I guess they were right. If your house is infested with Black Widows, you, you need to infest your house with scorpions to get rid of them? Ooh, and it looks like we have a solid strike from the scorpion. Black Widow's dragging a little bit. And you know, I'm starting to think it wouldn't have mattered if we used even a smaller scorpion here, because you watch how it attacks. It's got those crab claws on the front and that big stinger coming from the back. How do you even defend against something like that? And you can see here part of the failure of this cloth I put down here in this lizard tank lining I put down in this container or the failing of the gorilla glue to hold it down as the edge popped up a little bit and the spider wants to go down there and hide yeah we don't want any part of this and no we're not going to have a post-fight interview with the scorpion i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do with them no i'm not gonna send them to you in the mail i don't even know how legal it was to have somebody send it to the mail to me in the first place the box was labeled harmless insect I don't know what kind of scorpion this is, but I can pretty much guess it's not harmless. It's just me. I'm not sure, but hey, it doesn't look very harmless, does it? Well, it looks like we're going to have to declare the scorpion a winner. It looks like the Black Widow is down and out for the count. I guess he was right. Scorpions kill Black Widows. All right. Well, you can say you saw it here first. Uh, the score is Scorpion 1, Black Widow is dead. All right, so if you want to know why I did this, well, watch the video. I explain it. And if you're still all, you know, butthurt or something about it, hey, if you want Black Widows wandering all through your house, you can live that way. I don't want Black Widows wandering through my house. I don't want scorpions in there either. All right, so hopefully I didn't disappoint. Leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22 the most dangerous man on YouTube.